Thursday, April the 2nd, big day, important day for ministry on Capitol Hill because it is today when uh, we will visit every single office of the United States Congress, that's 535 offices in all, to deliver a special Easter resurrection season letter personally addressed to each member of Congress by name that explains the wonderful message of the gospel, the Christian message, and the centrality of the resurrection in that message. In fact, St. Paul said, if it weren't for the resurrection, why, our faith would be in vain. And in Philippians, uh, right in the center of talking about knowing Christ, Paul speaks of the power of his resurrection. It is the resurrection that is at the center of the gospel message. And so uh, we celebrate the resurrection and uh, we do it a little bit early. As you know, Easter Sunday, of course, is April the 12th and uh, Congress breaks early. So uh, before they go out of town, we want to make those deliveries. And there's a special uh, little uh, uh, well, a little uh, card that goes in with that delivery, and every year we get wonderful letters back from the members of Congress. Only a couple or three each year will reject our delivery, and uh, we don't need to go into a lot on that, make a lot of that, but some will say that uh, they won't accept uh, that message, but the vast majority, virtually all of them do, and we usually get very lovely letters in return. So we know hearts and minds are open at this season of the year uh, like no other time. Well, maybe with the exception of Christmas. Christmas and Easter are the two times when hearts and minds are open in an extraordinary way to the Christian message. And so that's what we'll do today There'll be a special delivery on Capitol Hill to each and every one of those offices. And then at 1 o'clock this afternoon, Reverend Pat Mahoney and I will undertake a pilgrimage following the Stations of the Cross. Again, normally we would do this on Good Friday, which this year is April the 10th. Uh, but because Congress and so many who work on Capitol Hill leave for uh, the Easter season, Passover season break. Uh, we do this a little bit early so that they can join with us. And we hope to have a couple of members of Congress join us. We've invited a few to be with us. And we can't have a whole lot of people do this because if you have over 20, then you need a special permit. And that means we're in for a battle. And uh, it's just not the time for that. So we keep it very small. It's more manageable, and it's a deeply meaningful, personal, spiritual pilgrimage for Pat and me. So uh, we will follow the Stations of the Cross, uh, 13 stations in all, and at each place we start out at uh, Columbus Fountain at uh, Union Station, kind of a central market, if you will, in Washington, and then we progress to uh, areas on Capitol Hill of significance, the Senate buildings, the U.S. Capitol itself, the Supreme Court, and so on. And we will conclude at our own ministry center uh, with the last station uh, and the entombing of Christ uh, and the remembrance of that. So we will read scripture and we will pray at each of those stations. And of course, we are carrying a very large cross, a beautiful simple rustic cross but enough to visually carry the message of the easter season which of course is the suffering of christ the passion of christ and the expectation anticipation of his resurrection so that's all today it'll be a wonderful deeply spiritual day today and we hope you'll join us in spirit uh, and in prayer for this very, very important outreach. We call it our annual Easter outreach to Capitol Hill. So be in prayer with us about that, and I'll check in with you again tomorrow. See you then.